Hey guys, I'm going to read you another story from the Spider-Man Storybook Collection. This one is Spider-Man Science vs. Science. I don't know who the author is, so I can't tell you. Peter had stayed up all night prepping for his science project. A steam-powered super potato launcher for the school science fair. He was sure he'd finally get the recognition he craved. Peter was exhausted hardly able to keep his eyes open, but Aunt May spurred him on and took him to school. While setting up his project, Peter looked at the student, the other student's work. He was really impressed with Cameron's electrosphere, Ben's erupting volcano, and Nate's combustible chemistry set. It wasn't going to be an easy win for any of them. Peter was introduced to the judges, one of whom was Dr. Kurt Connors, a famous professor who had paved the way for major breakthroughs in science. There's potato gun. There's the science fair. But Dr. Connors was best known for his great scientific works. Was not... Sorry. But Dr. Connors was best known not for his great scientific works, but because one of his experiments went wrong and turned him into the reptilian creature called the Lizard. Fortunately, Dr. Connors was cured. He couldn't change into the Lizard again, right? As the judges examined each project, one student's experiment went haywire, releasing a strange green gas. Peter tried to help but he was already too late. Dr. Connors was transforming. Without a moment to lose, Peter ducked behind some solar panels, and after a quick change, he leapt out as Spider-Man. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, Spider-Man called to the crowd. Please exit in an orderly fashion. We'll be about to have a showdown. Thank you. As Dr. Connors fought the transformation, the crowd fled from the building. He thought he was cured. Himself. He thought he had cured himself of the monster inside, but something in that green gas had released the lizard. Doctor Connors and Peter, and the science experiment going wrong. See how he's starting to transform. Paging Doc Connors. Paging Doc Connors. Can you stop yourself from changing? Just calm down now, Spidey said, easing down his voice. Think of all the great things you've done, the discoveries in science and genetics, all the hurt people you've helped. Remember you're a good person. Spider watched, or Spidey watched as the scientist he admired struggled against the monster inside him. The monster was trying to get out. No one ever sees the good I've done, Spider-Man, Dr. Connors grunted back. They only see the horror I can unleash. Spidey wanted to help, but the transformation once triggered couldn't be stopped. And where Dr. Connors once stood, there now stood the lizard. Spider-Man clenched his fist and prepared to fight. Prepared for the fight that was sure to come. With the gi giant reptile barreling down toward him, Spidey leapt into the air, spinning his webs as fast as he could. He wasn't going to let the lizard trash all the science projects. His webs slung from his wrist, each shot finding its target and preventing the projects from shattering on the ground. The lizard roared. While the, rep the green reptile's mouth was wide open, Spidey spun a web right around those muscular or powerful jaws and pulled them shut. Put a sock in it, Lizzie. Struggling to rip the web off his face, the lizard staggered back in a step and shredded his jaws free. You barely slowed me down, he hissed. 
Why must you always get in my way? Gee, let me think about that, Spidey said. Oh, I know, because you're always trying to ruin everybody's day. Spider-Man dropped back, back down to the gym floor. Why don't you just, we just skip the whole fighting part and get you turned into yourself. The lizard lunged at the webbed hero. I'll take that as a no, Spider-Man said as he slid between the lizard's legs. As Spidey popped up behind the lizard, an idea came to him. The lizard's thick skin had made him too tough to defeat by pushing him around. He wouldn't feel a thing. It's science that turned you into the lizard, so let's fight science with science, Spider-Man said. Spider-Man used the projects around him. He swung Cameron's electrosphere at the lizard. This, sh this should give you a good jolt, Spidey cried. Lightning flashed out from the electrosphere and struck his opponent. Zing! The lizard growled at the wall crawler, crawler as his massive scaly green tail swatted Ben's volcano. All right, Spider-Man said. He swung a couple more webs, catching Ben's project at the same time grabbing Peter's potato launcher and hurling Nate's combustible chemistry set through the air, raining flames down on the lizard. Let's see how you like playing with fire. Spider-Man realized he needed to outsmart his adversary not just throw things at him. The lizard put out the flames on his tough skin, hardly even noticing the heat. Is that the best you can do, Spider-Man? Not by a long shot, Liz. The web slinger triggered Ben's volcano to erupt and aimed it directly at the lizard's eyes. While his ornery opponent was terribly blinded, Spidey grabbed the science project that would put Lizard, the put lizard down for the count. Peter Parker's potato launcher. Boof, boof. Spidey launched a couple of sweet potatoes, but they weren't strong enough. Spidey had caught, had a tough decision to make. I'll miss you, my dear potato launcher, he said. He took his invention by the barrel and smashed the lizard over the head with it. The lizard fell to the ground, but Peter was more concerned about his broken project. Now there was no way he'd win the science fair. Thwack! Spider-Man put everyone's projects back, to, back in place while he waited for the lizard to revert to human form. When he did, Dr. Connors was so sorry for what had happened. Will I never be free from this terrible curse? He asked Spider-Man. Spidey considered the question. I don't think you're responsible for what the lizard does, Dr. Connors, he said. You'll figure out how to get rid of the lizard someday, and then you'll be remembered for all of your scientific work. That would be nice, Spidey, Spider-Man. Dr. Connor smiled a little. Thank goodness no one was hurt. Not even the science projects. There's potato gun smack. And there's that. Well, one project broke, Spider-Man mumbled. It was that invention that stopped the lizard, and I'm grateful for that, Dr. Connors replied. The police and a group of doctors rushed into the auditorium to take Dr. Connors away and help him. Peter sighed. Well, I guess I'm off to make a potato salad. And there's the end of the book. 
All right, guys. I love you. Good night. Be good and always kind.